Hello students, welcome to Saurabh Sir's classes. Our today's topic will be area of bounded regions. So let us start with our very first sum. So our first sum here says, suppose y equal to fx and y equal to gx are two functions whose graphs intersect at three points 0, 4, 2, 2 and 4, 0 with fx greater than gx for x belongs to 0 to 2 and fx less than gx for x belongs to 2 to 4. So let us first draw our graph. So here is our graph. So this is our graph here. So now let's name it. So this will be y, this will be x and here we have points that is 0, 4. Here we have point 4, 0 and somewhere here we have point our 2, 2. So for 0 to 2, here we have for 0 to 2, gx is fx is greater than gx. So let this be fx and this be gx. And for 2 to 4, fx is less than gx. So let this be fx and this will be gx. So we have got two curves. This curve is fx and this curve is gx. So now Let's name these parts. So let this be A1, this be A3, this to be A2 and this to be A4. So we are given here integration over 0 to 4 fx minus gx equal to 10. So let us write this here integration over 0 to 4 f of x dx minus integration over 0 to 4 g of x dx equal to 10. So our function fx from 0 to 4 is belongs to a1, a3 and a4. So here we have a1 plus a3 plus a4 minus of gx over 0 to 4. So gx over 0 to 4 combines of a3, a4 and a2. So here we have a2 plus a3 plus a4 equal to 10. So solving this whole equation we get a1 minus a2 equal to 10. So let this be our one equation. Now in the second equation we have been given that integration over 2 to 4 gx minus fx equal to 5. So let us solve this here. Here we have 2 to 4 g of x dx minus integration 2 to 4 f of x dx equal to 5. So from 2 to 4 gx. So this is our 2 and this is our 4. So throughout this, our gx contains of only a2 and a4. So this will be a2 plus a4 minus here we have fx over 2 to 4. So fx 2 to 4 contains only a4. So here we have a4 which is equal to 5. Therefore, our a2 is equal to 5. Hence, putting a2 here. So a1 equal to 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. So our a1 is 15. So here we need the area between the two curves for 0 to 2. So the area between the curve fx and gx from 0 to 2 is a1 and our a1 is 15. So our answer is option number C that is option 15. So now let's move on to our second question. So here is our second question. It says find the area bounded between x axis and the graph of y equal to 6x minus 3x square between the ordinates x equal to 1 and x equal to a is 19 square units then a can take the value. So we have been given four different options here. We need to find which one of the following is correct. So let's start with the sum. So here we have been given y equal to 6x minus 3x square. So let's write this as i equal to integration over 6x minus 3x square dx. So integrating this we will get 6x square minus 2 minus 3x cube by 3. So this will be equal to x square 3 minus x. So let's take three different points of the curve. So let us first draw the curve. So here will be our curve something like this. 
so this will be our graph and the curve that we need to draw so this is our complete graph so the curve we will draw will be something like this so this is our curve it's not symmetric visually but it should be a symmetric curve so here we have one here we have two here we have three here we have four so four points on x-axis so this is one this is three and this is got four so for this y and x-axis let's name these points so this will be a1 this should be a2 this let be a3 so let us find these areas so a1 will be equal to i of 2 minus i of 1 so here we have x square 3 minus x we need to put 2 and 1 in place of these x's so here we will get 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2 units our a2 similarly would be i of 2 minus i of 3 so we will get here 4 minus 4 minus 0 which is equal to 4 and thirdly we have a3 which is equal to i of 3 minus i of 4 so this will be equal to 0 plus 16 equal to 16 so it's finally we can see that a3 that is 16 it belongs to the region 3 comma 4 so we have been given here that the area bounded between the x-axis and the graph this between the ordinates is 19 so here we can see that we have here 16 so this should definitely belong between 3 to 4 so let's check which which options contains 3 to 4 so two values to so option c you can see we have one value in 3 comma 4 so let's check for minus 2 to minus 1 since this is symmetric we can assume that this left hand side would go somewhere between minus 1 and minus 2 so somewhere it meets at the point minus 2 comma 1 minus 1 so this can be seen that option number c is correct so our answer to question number 2 is option number c